Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been trying a new menstrual cup, which I mentioned in my previous menstrual cup video that I wanted to try a different one, so I actually reached out to the company. They're willing to send me one to try out and test for you guys to let you guys know what I think about it. So the company that I reached out to was Lunette. Now this is the box that they sent me. They asked me to pick a color, um, the size that I wanted, because they have two sizes. I chose the regular normal size. So when you open this box, it's super cute by the way, the packaging. It says, say hello to your little friend. And it pulls out like this. And your cup would usually be in there, but I already, I've already taken it out. So it comes with a little manual, which is says, meet your vagina's new best friend, which is pretty funny. So it just comes with like a little manual on how to like fold, insert, wear, um, remove, empty, and all this stuff. So I'm gonna compare the Diva Cup and the Lunette Cup and share my experience with you. I was able to use the Lunette Cup, I think, two or three cycles now. I actually don't remember because I feel like it's always so long because I have to wait once every month to do it, but I'm pretty, I know I've done at least two cycles with this cup and that was sufficient enough for me to do this review since I am used to using the cup now, so it doesn't take long for me to do. So the Lunette Cup in comparison to the Diva Cup, I'm gonna show you the bag first. This is the, the Lunette bag. It's in like a silky fabric. It's actually pretty big because this is the Diva Cup bag. So that's just the difference there, just different fabric and different sizes. This is what I was using before, the Diva Cup over here. And I purposely chose a different colored cup with Lunette just so you guys can see the difference. I probably would have chosen a clear one just so I can see for sanitary reasons. Just so I find that like if it's clear you can, I don't know, see if it's dirty more, I guess. But anyway, so I chose a purple one. And as you can see, there's a difference in shape and size. The Lunette cup is definitely shorter. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's a little bit wider, just a little bit. And this one's just very narrow. So this is longer, this is shorter, this is a little bit wider. And the Diva cup is a little bit thinner slash narrow. With experience wise, I definitely ended up cutting the tip off of this cup. I tried doing it with the tip at first for maybe the first two inserts and it's definitely not as uncomfortable as a diva cup i remember when i first tried the diva cup with the stem on it it was super uncomfortable i could definitely feel it coming down and i immediately had to cut it with the stem on which i did keep to show you guys the stem on the lunette cup is a little bit softer i find and i mean i could have kept it there but i could still slightly feel it it's not as uncomfortable like I said before, but I didn't see the point of it. I didn't use it, so I just cut it off. I just prefer to not feel it anywhere near the opening. So I ended up cutting it off. So I found that the suction on this Lunette Cup was really, really good. I don't know, maybe the shape fits a little bit better in my cervix, but the suction was very good on this cup. And I honestly thought from receiving this cup, I wasn't sure if this was going to be big enough, I guess, because I just looking at it, seeing how short it was, I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is going to be enough for me to wear for 12 hours. I was worried that I would have to empty it out a little bit more often, but that was not the case. I wear it as often, or I take it out as often as, as I did with the Diva Cup, so that's good to know. So the size is perfect. It, it just looks smaller. Because it suctions so well, I found that it's pretty difficult to take out. The Diva Cup, because it's longer, I felt like it was easier to grab, and when I did the poop flex, if you guys have seen that video, I'll link it right here. It's a video on how to remove your cup, which was a perfect method for this Diva Cup here. Removing this cup, though, is a little bit more difficult. The suction is very good on this cup, and I tried the poop flex on this cup, and it slightly moves down, but I definitely have to reach a little bit further to grab this. I mean, I can take it out no problem. It's just a little bit more difficult. This one, the second I do the poop flex, this thing just like slides right down. So the suction I think might not be as good on the Diva Cup, I would assume, just because this is my second cup that I've tried. So that's what I see in comparison. The suction on this is very, very good. Leaking um, with this cup is very little. When I say inserting is easy, it's easy to insert, but it's what's difficult with this cup is once you've opened so because you insert like this, the fold that I do at least is the push down fold. Because I insert like this and once it opens and it suctions, I find that pushing it up is what's difficult with this cup. Pushing it up, I can't seem to do it with one finger. I either have to do like either two fingers to balance it out on each side so that it wouldn't slip because I find that when I was pushing it, it would just, my finger couldn't 
I don't know, I just couldn't do it. But yeah, the inserting is perfectly fine, getting it in, but it's pushing it up, putting it in place in your cervix is a little bit difficult, which I once said before that it's probably because of the suction on it is very good. So doing one finger to push it up is a little bit difficult, which I can do on the Diva Cup to push it up with one finger. I actually have sometimes had to use my thumb which is a very awkward thing to do, but I find that the thumb is, like, I don't know if it's just because it's got a wider, more sturdier base to push up on, but yeah, sometimes I actually enter this with my thumb, like to push it up. But once it's in there, it's perfectly fine, it's great, I do really like this cup. Those are pretty much the pros and cons to it, inserting into place and removing it is a little bit difficult is what I find. But the plus side is that the suction is very good. I don't find that I get that much leakage at all really, if not any. If I do get leakage, I believe it's just the excess from removing and it, the cup just didn't catch it while I was reinserting and that's pretty much the only thing I could think of. But yeah, in comparison to the Diva Cup, I mean, I think it's just personal preference at this point. I think that, of course, you'd have to test it out. If one cup doesn't work for you, you might have to try a different cup just because your cervix could be completely different than mine. I don't think I have a favorite at this point. They just, they both work. Maybe later down the road I'll have a better idea of which one I like better, but for now, I find that they're pretty much the same in terms of you know, while it's sitting in there, I find that it's the same outcome, but it's just the process of putting it in and taking it out that where it's different between these two cups. I'm just sharing with you guys my experience and just to show you guys what the difference is between the cups because obviously looking at a cup on the internet and seeing the photos it's kind of hard to gauge the difference between different cups and different sizes and shapes. Let me know if you guys have tried both of these cups and what you prefer just so it could help other people out who are considering menstrual cups or are trying to find a new one. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.